Hi YouTube. I got a 2007 Honda Ridgeline, and what's going on here is uh, I replaced the AC, this AC line right here. It got leaked from here, and it keep adding free onto it, and still doesn't work. You know, so it worked while it 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 had free on. But the time the free has gone, then it's empty. So this is the line that I'll replace it. It's right in the grill right here. And come up to right here, down to the compressor. So I didn't show you how to replace that easy hose, okay? But here's the one thing that I find, that the fan doesn't work, okay? The fan doesn't work. Okay, it's not mean. It's not mean this fan is bad. I test it. This is how I test. I show you. So what I do here is the condenser fan here, just unplug, and you're using two alligator nose like this. Hook it up to the two jumper wire. It doesn't matter which side you put on. It just run backward and forward. That's all. Okay. So I test it. The fans work. But when the AC is on, this fan is supposed to be on, okay? Now, normally, if you test it right here with the jump wire from the battery, you know what, I'm gonna show you how to do anyway, in case some people that uh, may not know exactly what I talk about. So I'm gonna put uh, positive and negative right here, okay? Okay, I'm gonna put that and right here some people like to be visual besides just talking i know uh some some of you that it's not um what do you call it's not a uh electrician or mechanic thing then you don't know so now if I plug it into my positive and negative over here okay it doesn't matter okay like I said and you hear but my fans kicking right so that confirmed that the fan is working okay so when the fans working the AC is on it should work right okay now let me plug this back up so I can go turn the AC on so you hear the AC kicking. As you can see, my condenser fan is not kicking, but the radiator fan is kicking right now, right? And here, you have this fill box right here. I'm not sure my camera is good to see it. You know, you have right here, this three, two relay right here, okay? This one and that one, okay? This one control the condenser, okay? If I unplug this, okay? If I unplug this and check with the new one, okay? If your condenser fan is not good, then you replace this relay here, then your condenser fan should kick in. But in this case here, this two radio fan and the cooling uh, condenser fan it, it work on, on the, uh, the relay it work okay so I put a ground wire right here this side here the green the blue and the blue and uh, the uh, kind of yellow here is the ground side and the red and the white is the positive side and that to connect it to straight to right here 
those two wires. And when I put ground on it, anytime the AC shut off, then the fan kicking. Okay, the fan kicking right there. But it doesn't work if the AC kicking. Now the AC in there is cold because I already put everything is cold. Just the fan is not kicking. That's it. So here I show you to find the problem is now under here where the razor board okay you take the razor board out like this and also take this one out the cover of the ECU out okay and then there's a few box right here okay there's a few box right here what you have to do is Okay, the fan is the one right here, okay? Now, this one right here actually bent a little bit and plus, it's not connected. So, this one is your condenser fan relay, another one, okay? So let me plug this in to see it work, okay? Now, I plug it in. Let's see if the vote. See that? Now the fan is working now, okay? Because sometimes the relay here, it, does, it works, but the one down here it doesn't. So that's why this fan is not kicking the right, okay? See right now it's kicking because the relay is not connected, okay? See that? Now, in the car, it does not have any diagram to show you on that condenser fan relay, okay? It only show on the box, but not on this box right here. This box has three relay inside here, but it does not have no clue where those go to. So, now, if you have something similar to like this, you know what you find your condenser fan really okay all right thank you for watching and uh, and uh, if you see your fan condenser fan or radio fan doesn't work that can cause your car overheating okay so when your car overheating then that's bad so now you know how to find your condenser fan uh, really that fix the problem just like mine so please help me subscribe and uh, like and share the video I know it doesn't happen all the time but this is a, this is a very difficult fix okay but I just show you the most detailed and the most simple way because I already take half of my day to look for it everywhere from the controller to the radiator, uh, 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 the relay, and all that, I tracking down all over the place until I found this. Okay, so it takes you to watch a couple minutes, but take me a half a day to figure out. So thank you for watching. Okay, don't forget to help me subscribe, and uh, see you guys next video. Bye bye now.